Good news, Thor, but uh, top up your coffee and hang out with uh, Tommy Smythe and I as we talk IDS West and adding some vintage to your decor. Hi. Hi, Jody. We've just so chatted up here. all in the, in the commercial break. I've learned so much. We've covered it all off camera, so we're now gonna we're learn done. We're going to learn more. Yeah, no, of course. We can always learn more about vintage. I love incorporating vintage things. And in terms of what we've got here, this is literally, we. I went to Selma Gundy, one store, and found this much stuff in about five minutes. There's a lot of great vintage in Vancouver. There is, you know, yeah. and, and the great little mom and pop places that are small businesses in this city are a treasure trove for various different things that you can find. I have and one on West Broadway that I go to all the time called Step Back, and you just never know what's going to be coming in. Right? And it's different over. every time you visit, yeah. so you have to visit often, and yes. you might not find something every time, but if you go repeatedly, eventually you're going to find exactly the right thing that you're looking for to either incorporate into your decor or to reimagine re and, and upcycle. And the connection is the key to adding the vintage, right? A hundred percent. You were telling me earlier on that you found something that was connected to your childhood or to your growing up. I did. And those are the things that have stories that we want to bring into our home. Getting the you into your home is great. I have the South Delta 601 uh, bus vinyl up in my living room Which and I love awesome, it. Which is awesome, like a scroll. Yes. And it looks so good. It's wall art and it's something that has a personal connection to your history. It makes me happy. Yeah. Let's go through some of the photos that you brought because I really want to oh, yeah. see um, some of the examples. Okay, so my forward. sidekick Sarah Richardson and I did a rental cottage for HGTV a little while ago on the Great Lakes. It rained sideways almost every day. She made me make this uh, paddle rack with her. We actually made that with power tools. I honest to God thought I was going to lose a finger. Didn't. Uh, so not did, so much handy, more stylish. Oh God, I can do your hair, but I can't like, make <laughs> I this. Love you, I can't Tommy's. make this paddle rack out of power tools. But Sarah. <laughs> Thankfully, it's very handy. And the great thing about the paddle rack was we found all these paddles in the cottage. When, when she bought the home, Really? all the contents were included with the home. We threw out tons of stuff, of but we kept a lot of really cool old stuff and just put it up on the walls. That's the connection. Let's yeah. go to another bedroom. <gasps> So that's the principal bedroom in this cottage. The little star mirror above the bed is actually a fragment of a carnival ride. So I bought it from a dealer in Toronto and brought it. Um, and he had literally purchased a bunch of these little things that had been stuck on the walls and the ceiling of a carnival ride. And we used it as a mirror. The bedspread in this room is actually a rag rug. Needed a good cleaning before it became bedding. <laughs> we, of course. We take it off the floor and put it but, on the bed, clean it. But the, reclaiming things, making them simple, and yeah. maybe like too many accessories, if you just make it one little thing, then you just can Just using have a it for something look. different. Because this is super modern yet super vintage. Right. So this is a way to take, I mean, people think of vintage things being antique and traditional, mm -hmm. but this, this is a condo that I did with Sarah uh, for her co producer, Michael Prini. We used Art Deco furniture. Blue chip, the idea was it was blue chip mid-century design. So there's a vintage Danish modern mirror in mm -hmm. that blue painted corner. We Love have the Art blue Deco painted corner, by the way. Yeah, That's so a that statement. was Sarah's idea. A, a little accent, just a slice of color, and, and then add the mirror. We have a Deco sideboard, the Brno chairs, the classic mid-century modern chairs with the chrome tubing, uh, the waterfall table, an icon of mid-century design, modern design. Right. So, so much of this stuff is vintage, but it feels super contemporary because Pulled it's modern together. in its lines. This is actually your former kitchen. That's my old kitchen, yeah. We got a lot of stuff into that kitchen. Look at the wine rack. Hello. Well, this was, yeah, there's 36 bottles of wine that we can totally store in there. They don't you. stay in there for very long. No. Yeah, it's never full. And is that an outdoor light fixture? It is. That's a former English street lantern that we converted to a pendant light. So it would have sat on a post. Right. But we made it into a pendant to hang above the kitchen table. Genius move. People told me not to do a kitchen table, that I had to have an island, but I went my own way because I'm short. I like to have my feet on the ground. I'm <laughs> with you. Look at me. Stools. Look at us standing Not here together. So, yeah, right? IDS West, tell people where you are. It's on now. I'm on Sunday afternoon at 1 o'clock, speaking about things about like inspiration, uh, scholarship, courage, talking about how to get the house that you want. Um, and uh, I'm thrilled to be here for IDS West. It's an amazing, amazing show. Really designery. Not like, you know, a lot of hot tubs and toilets. Really interesting design. Cool. Discussions about design. Amazing speakers, other than myself. Uh, Jonathan Adler is going to be there on Saturday. Awesome. So it's a really, really great event that brings me to Vancouver to really communicate with my West Coast colleagues as well as the public. So Dial into the design here, which you have. You've given us trade. great ideas. Tommy Smythe, make sure you go see him at IDS West on Saturday.